Welcome to the webwatchworld.com video tour of the Glycine Lagunare 3000 wristwatch. Please visit webwatchworld.com for the full review and detailed photos of this wristwatch and many more. Glycine was instrumental in starting the trend to big watches and the Lagunare 3000 is one of the biggest of them all. The company offers several different dive watches and the 3000 shown here was made in a limited edition of only 300. There are a few brand new examples still to be found in some retailers, but the production run has been completed at the factory, so this watch is becoming quite rare. The Lagunari 3K is 46 millimeters across and it's 18 millimeters thick, which is close to three quarters of an inch. It is one of the few COSC certified glycine watches, but the strange thing is that you'll notice it doesn't have minute hash marks. So having a COSC certification in a watch where it's difficult to set the minute hands exactly is a bit odd. It comes on this rubber strap which is bowed out at the lugs, making it a bit difficult to wear also. I have seven and a quarter inch wrists and unfortunately the watch is just too big for me to wear comfortably and it didn't fit under any of my shirt sleeves, so I ended up selling it. Too bad because otherwise it's an impressive piece. The face design is clean and very easy to read and the big white sweep seconds hand is a perfect match for the styling. The Lagunari 3000 is noted by its three crowns. The main center crown is protected by a cap, and the crown at 2 o'clock unscrews to release the bezel, which is very stiff to turn. The crown at 4 o'clock is a manual helium release valve, while the watch also has an automatic helium release valve built into the case at the 9 o'clock position. Why you need one of these, much less two, is debatable, but the three crowns on the right really give this watch some presence. The case back has a molded whale that leaves a nice impression on the top of your wrist if the watch is worn too tightly. The rubber strap is relatively stiff, which doesn't help matters. It would be better, I think, if it was made from a nice soft silicone. The strap can be changed, but it's a difficult proposition. I don't like the screw type spring bars, and the L3K uses a special screw tube to hold the strap. I stripped the threads on one side the first time I went to change the strap and it cost me $25 to buy a set of two of the special spring bars from Glycine and several weeks to get them mailed from Switzerland. As is typical with Glycine straps, at least in my experience and having owned more than a dozen over the years, the strap and buckle just doesn't seem equal to the price of this watch. The buckle especially is a bit wimpy. But overall there's nothing else like it. This is an impressive watch that keeps excellent time and is rated at 1,000 meters, way deeper than anyone who's still breathing would venture. If you're a Glycine fan, you have to have one at some point. I wish I could wear it, but it was just too big for me and it ended up sitting in the watch box. For more details, lots of photos, and the full discussion of the Glycine Lagunari 3000 watch, please visit webwatchworld.com. Thanks for watching.